like that. Well, hello, guys. I'm Rick Dancer, and this is Stephanie. Hi. And Stephanie is a client patient over here at Emerald TMS. So tell people kind of what you struggle with. This is depression. Yes. Um, I've been struggling with depression since I was a teenager. Um, I've tried several different forms of, well, medication therapy, and none of them work. Uh, so they determined it to be, um, what is the term for that? Uh, Treatment-resistant depression. Um, and so this is supposed to help uh, people with treatment-resistant depression by stimulating the cerebral cortex of the brain. So have you done the medication thing and all that? Mm -hmm. None of it works. None of it worked. So what does it look like to you? Depression. How, how do you define that? Kind of explain to people. Because I think there's a lot of people out there who think it's the blues. Or, oh, I'm having a seasonal depression. Or I'm feeling mm -hmm. bad today. You're talking about acute depression. Yeah. Um, like quit your job and, and that, that kind of stuff. Like it, affecting your ability to leave your house on a daily basis. And to do any of the things that are important. Even mundane tasks like laundry and dishes and just cooking, cleaning, that kind of stuff, it affects your ability to even do any of that. So you just get so down, you just, you can't even function. Yeah, you have no motivation, no, no yearning to do anything. You just kind of exist, for me anyways. So how did you find out about Emerald TMS? Uh, my psychiatrist recommended it. And you would have had to go somewhere else to get this. If the, this has only been here since April, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the next closest one would be Medford. Mm. So this is you're pretty hopeful about this. I am very You've hopeful. You've been in this for how long? How long is this your... What treatment is this? Uh, this is the first day of week three. Okay. So you go how many days? You come in five days a week? Yes, five days a week for six weeks is the duration of the treatment. So John Anderson says, thanks for allowing us to meet you and show the process of the treatment. Yeah, you're welcome. Because you want to help other people too. Yes, I do. Because depression is, it's so debilitating. It is. It affects every aspect of, of your daily life. How's this on your marriage? Um, it, it makes it hard. Definitely. But your husband's here with you. Ryan's back there. Are you okay being on here? Yeah. See, there's a supportive husband guy. <laughs> he's here, so he's here to help us. So he sits through the tree. So what's this, kind of before they start in, what's this like? Like, what does it feel like? Was the, was the first time kind of weird? Uh, yeah, the first time was super weird. Uh, the, the brain mapping part wasn't so bad. You don't really feel much. Um, they're trying to make your thumb twitch, and you don't really know what's going on, but everybody's kind of just washing your hand really intently. Uh, <laughs> um, the, the first round of treatment though is, it's very, it's, uh, for lack of a better term, it's shocking. Uh, <laughs> you don't feel, odd sensation. but you don't feel really much, do you? Like, oh yeah, you feel what, a lot. What do you feel? Um, it's, <laughs> well, <laughs> it depends on what nerve they hit, <laughs> I guess. Um, the, the first, we didn't have it angled right in the very beginning, um, and, and it takes time to kind of work to out, map the, it out to map it out and get the right spot. But there's there's a nerve here, and and when it gets that nerve, it kind of feels like they're electrocuting the inside of your eyeball. So it's not so great, but once they once they get it in the right spot, then the it's just kind of like a tapping, but inside of your brain, and you can very much feel it. It's discomfort, you know, but not painful. But after what you go through, this is worth it to see if it'll help you. Absolutely. Look at you. So what do you know what happy is? Um <laughs> no not so much anymore, no. So happy is not something that you have on a normal basis. No. <laughs> so a day, a normal day looks like what? Uh home so, in my pajamas with my dog. Surviving. Just being alive, yeah. <laughs> but not knowing what to do with yourself. You know? Yeah. So, Brendan, come here for a sec. You guys, this is Brendan. So, what do you call yourself? Um, I'm a PMS technician or treater. I just say treater. Okay. So, how does this... So, explain for people that didn't watch last week how this works. What that what, what happens with people like, like Stephanie is they, they stop shooting electrical impulses between the two sides of their brain. That's, that's right. the thought, right? So, you showed the underactive brain and the active brain next to each other last week. Um, so there's uh, certain areas of the brain um, in people who suffer from depression that are underactive, 
So what we're doing with this magnetic coil is stimulating the neurons right underneath this, the um, scalp and the skull, um, and we're hoping to create a domino effect that's um, waking up basically um, areas of the brain that weren't active. Okay, so I'm going to just tell you, last week after we put this on, a bunch of your, well, I bet four of your patients called me or contacted me and they love what you guys are doing. And I'm not just saying that because uh, you're a paid client. I'm saying these people really, really liked you and said, you know, they're well, so we hopeful. we like them too. That they're really hopeful this is going to change. So why don't you go ahead and do this? I'm going to turn this around. Okay. And then I'm going to wa just watch you guys through this. So again, you guys, we're at Emerald TMS. And this is Stephanie and her husband, Ryan. And Stephanie's in her third week of treatment. Right? That's right, right? Technically, this is still the second week because of the holiday. Oh, yeah, okay. This will be treatment number nine. Okay, so what are you doing? So I'm getting uh, this um, forehead strap ready. Uh, it's really important that um, during treatment, uh, patients stay very still because we make measurements based on the size of their head and um, uh, where they are in the chair. So we need to recreate that every time. So okay, we, go we ahead. come in, we have settings that we use to make sure that we're in the same spot. Now there's nothing on that screen I'm gonna get that's gonna get her in trouble, right? I don't think so. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just trying to be protective of you here. Okay, so I'm just gonna watch you. So how long do you sit in the chair? 20 minutes? Yeah, the treatment is 18 minutes and 45 seconds. Is that the longest 18 minutes and 24 seconds of your life? It actually goes by really quickly I if bet. you have things to talk about. <laughs> oh, so that's why Ryan's here? Well, that's why Brendan's here, because he's great at talking about things. He is, he's really... So that's why he got the job, because he's that's a blabbermouth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan's an expert blabbermouth. You know what, and, I, and I, I respect that in you, Brendan. That's comforting. He has a comforting... Um, hey, thanks. Inside manner. Yeah. So you guys, I also wanted to tell you that um, we had a comment on here on the last week when we did this, and somebody said something about radiation. There is no radiation from this. No. It's just Not a magnet. All. It's just magnets, so it's not radiating her. It's not doing anything like that. She's got her earplugs. Now, that's a good husband. And um, the other thing is people want to know if the Oregon uh, Health Plan covers this. Yes, right. they do. Yes, they do. And so does, what was the other so one? So Medicare. And Medicare. Okay, so people were asking that same question as well. Yeah, in okay. fact, all of the insurance uh, carriers that we've worked with do cover this. Um, there's obviously a, a copay involved for s certain plans, but right. but everyone has a provision for TMS. Just um, kind of varies depending. Okay, now this is the this is where all the stuff comes from. The magnetic is that yeah. There's a feel? coil inside of this, and then um, there's two sensors on the outside to make sure that we have good contact with uh, with her head.
Okay, you ready to start? Feel okay? Uh -huh. So the treatment is um, four second intervals. There's 40 pulses per interval, it's four seconds, and then a, a break of 11 seconds, and then another four seconds. So we call those pulse trains, just those four second chunks. Um, and we've got a timer here, or you could have it's 75 um, of these pulse trains per session and it equals 3,000 pulses okay. um, every session. So it's kind of like we're making a new pathway in in the brain, like you're you're cutting through like a forest and first you cut down the brush and then you, then you walk through it a bunch of times and make it smoother and smoother and so hopefully the, um, the signals will be able to pass a lot quicker and easier. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what do you feel? Um, if you look closely, you might see a movement uh, here during the next one. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's a it's an odd sensation, that's for sure. It's a. This does not replace antidepressants, does it? Well, in it's our hope that it will. Um, during treatment, we don't want um, anyone to go off of any meds of their own. Okay. Because we want to make sure that we can track to see how um, this is affecting just the baseline. So, Elena, if you're on medication at the time of treatment, you stay on the medication, okay? And uh, this doesn't replace therapy, um, but it's just another tool. Yeah. Is this the first time you've had hope in years? It seems... Seems like it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For several years, it was hard to get any kind of treatment. Um, besides maybe just a few visits with the therapist that you don't really get to know. But but then I, I got into therapy consistently, and then uh, psychiatry after that, and, uh, and now this. Before, it was just a struggle trying several different doctors, you know, trying different things and none of it seems to work and for me a lot of the medications had really unsavory side effects, uh, so. Uh, That's what people never take into account, do they? No. Why did they go off their meds? Well, because there's a lot of stuff the meds do that are not pleasant either. Exactly. Some of them either just, you have no feeling at all or others enhance certain feelings that, that you don't necessarily enjoy, like extreme frustration all the time, uh, or anxiety, or just, you know, a bunch of different stuff making you really, really tired, so tired you can't hardly even get out of bed. So, I tried that route. I finally on a a patch system. It's an MAOI called MSAM. Uh, it's been shown to help treat treatment resistant depression. Um, and I've had really good success with that. The, the, I have no side effects from it, um, which might be the first time ever. Uh, and, and now I'm trying this. So, yeah, my hopes are pretty high that this is going to work. How old are you? 28. And you've had this since you were 15? Um, I, I was about actually 13 when it started. So Ryan, would you, can bad. you talk to me? Sure. Okay. Come here, Ryan. Okay, hold on. Let me flip this around. All right. All right. You guys, so this is Ryan, her Hi. husband. So talk to me about what, how debilitating is this for her? Um... I'd say it's pretty debilitating. Uh, a lot of days, um, there's just not a whole lot of um, will, I think, to do anything um, other than just exist, which she kind of talked about. But like, uh, you know, like not being able to do like 
uh, chores, for example, or just get out of the house and, you know, go to the store or um, pretty much anything. Um, so difficult for the two of you then? Yeah, it, it's certainly caused some problems in our relationship, for sure. So you're pretty hopeful about this too then? Yeah, I mean, it, it, um, it was kind of a weird thing to hear about, like just the concept of it, but um, the stuff I read about it, it seemed like people had good results. Um, maybe not right at first, but um, over time it seemed to help a lot of people. Do you get to a point where you just would try just about anything? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. We've tried a lot of stuff. It's been many years um, that we've tried all sorts of different medications, um, you know, therapy, um, everything, really. So. Now, do you guys have kids or anything like that? No. Dogs? We do have a dog. Okay. <laughs> so you are parents? Yes. In a way? Yes. Okay. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. I hope this works. Oh, I'm going to go back here one more time. So again, you guys, this is Stephanie, and she has agreed to just let us show some of her treatment. And so if you guys have questions, I'm gonna put all the information on the top of the page so you can get more information about it. Um, you can call in. Again, this is for acute depression, right? Major depression. Sorry. Major depression, and there are some requirements you have to have in order to qualify, but you can find that all out by calling in. Um, what's going on here, Lori? Well, what's going on here is this is a treatment for acute depression. So it's little magnetic pulses that go in and try to stimulate and reignite the circuitry in the brain to get the happy feelings back. <laughs> right? Is that the way, a good way to put it? Mm -hmm. Some happy feeling back. Mm -hmm. So Stephanie struggled with this for years, um, more than a decade. And so uh, she's tried all kinds of medications. They haven't worked. And so now she's trying this as well. So you guys, if you want to have more information about this, I'm going to shut down the show, but you can go find out more. Um, and I will post this on my page and share it around. But again, I'll put the information on how to get a hold of Emerald TMS in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, Ryan. Yep.